Greetings everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 The House of Valis. I am Cell Valis. Last episode we took a nice big chunk out of Sweden, which isn't really Sweden. But technically the Kingdom of Sweden is part of the Empire of Valis, but situated in Brittany. Yeah, I've been up to some weird shit lately. <laughs> Basically, I'm just trying to take over the Scandinavia area right now, because I'm going to use the combined powers of all of that to take out Francia. That's my plan, at least. I've slowly begun taking land from them, but I have to time it well. Now, I am locked out of most of my good wars right now by truces. The soonest to fall off will be with King Vambola the Cruel in nine years, so... Like, I am a ways away from getting anything. Like, I don't even think I can declare war on this guy. Yeah, I can't cast... Wait, I can't holy war him? But he's Norse. Shouldn't that be a holy war? Yeah, maybe it's because I don't neighbor him. But yeah, I'm locked out of wars with Finland and Norway right now, I think. Er, oh, no, I don't think I have a truce with Finland, actually. Declare war... I could just up and claim the whole thing. <laughs> the commander of Sweden... Wait, aren't you the king of Sweden? Oh, but you've got a couple... Oh, that guy. So I could just up and claim the whole kingdom. Actually, that doesn't sound like I have a bad idea. Oh, but it's a bit big. Oh, Danish Revolt going on up here. How about you? Can I take anything from you? Finnmark. Yes, I could take Finnmark. For the Chancellor of the Knights Templar. Or that guy. Or for the Marshal of the Knights Templar, who I think actually does have some land, but it's to claim... Uh, I'm a little... Okay, so I think it would actually be to claim that county. Alright, uh, interesting. Wait, is that Estonia? What are they doing up there? Yeah, the world can be a little weird some days. Let's see... Pretty sure Estonia is actually supposed to be like right here. Uh huh. I'm trying to think, just plot out what to do, what to do. Oh yeah, how am I vassal? Okay, you know what? Let's not look at war. Let's do some home front work. Okay. Uh, I have some monthly expenses. Why do I have some monthly expenses? No levies are raised. No fleets are raised. And the retinues are not reinforcing, I think. Uh, no, they're reinforcing a little bit. Interesting. Um, can I see any better version of my budget? Ledger. Okay, well, I'm looking for my expenses. So, I could inherit that barony again. Um, hmm. Currently building. Interesting. Um, total taxes. Interesting. Well then, that's uh, that's interesting. So I'm trying to figure out like where is my expenses coming from. I'm gonna just have to go with the retinue. Uh, family things. Do I have a? Oh, wow! So much for not going to war. Uh, Cuminia, right? Uh, Davis Volts. We're going after. Against the evil Kagate something something communia for the clunches of the infidels. So it's actually a war up here against those guys, I think. Huh. Well that is just too that is too far for me to care, and those are the horde zones, and I don't really want to be around for the Mongols. Kinda of trying to keep myself on the western side since the sunset invasion isn't coming. Let's just focus ourselves on... Right, I was looking, I have my heir, 
Uh, I should be getting pretty close to... Titles can be rated. Vassal inheritance warning. King Tor the Usurper, right. The, uh... You. I've been trying to get you to make a baby. You have a 16-year-old wife. But you are old, man. You are old. So I gotta kinda be careful. And then this guy is the heir. And he is the king of Norway. Perhaps I should off him. Oh, wow. That is a very... That is a very strong possibility he's not going to be around for much longer. But uh, I think I'm going to recover my war chest. I really liked having about 5,000 on hand. Okay, so I've already done the introduce air thing. Got it. Anything for my son. He could definitely use the extra learning. Good, good. Oh, Mercy is at war with somebody. Probably some infighting right now. We have an epidemic. Okay, so I had been wondering what was going to happen if that happened. Kent has an epidemic. I thought I reinforced the hospital in Kent. Well, I put a sick house in it. Excellent. Wow, that's fast. Uh-oh, Sussex has fallen. What is this one? Measles? Camp fever. I think I will celebrate with beer. Oh, Dangerous Factions was a thing. Oh, um... Okay. Um, yeah. So, we managed to avert the loss of title in the nick of time by the sounds of it. Are you the one who died severe stress? You were the seducer. What happened to the, uh... What happened to the usurper? Uh, uh. So this title changed hands three times in a, in a short succession. So okay, so this was him, I think, or was it you? Strange. Where is? Huh. Weird. Okay, well, whoa, hey, it expanded a little bit. Awesome. So, this guy, I think, actually might have changed lieges on us. Lieges on us. So, yeah, we actually have a bigger chunk of Sweden now, and Sweden's actually starting to look like a proper kingdom. Excellent, excellent. So, yeah, I'm fine with just a little bit of realm maintenance right now. Just kind of let the, you know, vassals chill. Fight. Fight amongst themselves. Mercia is fighting against Neath over Gloucester. You know, let the infighting be a thing for a bit. Cell has been infatuated. <laughs> Awkward. All right. Still, I think everything's going pretty well right now. I've done my best to groom my heir. Right. How did we get infected? No. Our hospital, our very strong hospital, has stayed strong. And the money is flowing in, so I could begin to look at upgrades, although all I can make is a shipyard. This could go for some uh, upgrades, though. Perfect. So I guess I'm just kind of letting things go. I think I'll do a feast soon. Yeah, feast sounds nice. All right, rumor has it influenced by his. Well, good for you, Count Cole. I'm gonna just kind of ignore the outbreaks now. I'm waiting for November. November is here. Let's hold a feast. All my vassals will be there. Hire everybody I can. Performers. Then lavishly on the food. Invitations. Quite a few rejection letters. But hey, you know, is to be what it is. Family first. Welcome to my feast. Family first. Yay, new friend! 
Um, not just that Sarah drank too much. Or Hakon. Well, I am a one-eyed great emperor, so, you know, it is what it is. Last of the guests have left, and the feast is over, but I think it went well. I spend time with my son. Excellent. Alright, so... I can create some titles. A second empire. No thanks. Kingdom of Wales actually might be a good thing to do. Ah, excellent. My daughter has become an intricate web weaver. More and more signs of laziness. Go become gregarious. Alright, so... My daughter, Katarina. Now, you have a sister, Sif. Who is a matrilineally betrothed already. But she's kind of sick with chest pain, so let's go ahead and get you a matrilineal marriage, too. Now, who can we get? Try for someone of high diplomacy. Maybe not that old. The, you are a bastard with gray eminence. Temperate, ambitious, trusting. Ooh, Lucy. Mm. You're the best option. Congrats, you're getting married. Alright, and that takes care of my second backup daughter. Matrilineal marriages for everybody. What is going on over here? Alright, that's that old wall. But... No. Interesting. I don't remember that being there. I did, um, pick up some more DLC recently, but it was just cosmetics. Maybe that was... Maybe that's what that was. Alright, our war chest is almost back, and our... The years are ticking by. The one benefit of having king-level vassals is they do tend to inherit quick... Or, er, expand their own land. Oh, look! Just like that, land has been inherited. Or usurped. Well, good luck with that. So, thing. Keep him out of the factions. He will live to regret this. Count of Lancaster. You ever see what happens when the king plots to kill you? I assure you, it does not go well. Oh, I need a new counselor. Impress him with... What vassal? Lothane. That's, uh... Okay, so you're the... Jarl of Lothane. I'll do it for the favor. Okay, now we need a new steward. Our best option is you, but you're a powerful Valis, and actually not half bad at it. You'll probably be a zealot. I choose you. And he is a... zealot, yeah. I'm fine with that. Alright, you need to do things. Get me a tithe every once in a while, man. That's all I'm asking. Alright. Let's see, what to do next? What to do next? I want to keep growing a little bit, but at the same time, I gotta keep that threat check. Riches imprisonment. Oh! Uh, you are a niece, you need a thing. Wow, you are a spy through and through already. Um, maybe I should mess around with the council a little bit. Uh, have I changed the laws recently? Nope, I am good to go. Let's see, I have most of the good stuff. Uh, banishment or execution? What to pick up, what to pick up. Hmm. Rule of full authority on banishments, blah, 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 and then I can get full authority on war declaration, and then eventually I can just poof the council. Full authority over politics and law. That would be nice, and it would give me a little bit more direct control of some land. Hmm, let's pick up Banishment. That seems like a minor trick. Alright, Council! 
Council consideration. All right, so we've got one person in our favor. A pragmatist, who is the King of Scotland. Oh, hey, my uh, council is starting to look pretty damn royal. Got the Kings of Sweden, the King of Scotland, the uh, Commander and Chancellor, um, a Jarl, Jarl of a lot of things, and the the Duchess of Munster. Okay, so yeah, we've got we've got some powerful people, and he owes us a favor. Perfect. Oh, nice, 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 nice. All right, so consideration start vote. So, he will vote for us, and I can call in a favor on him. So, all I need is one of you guys. So, who's, whose favors are cheap? Okay, your favor is cheap. What about you? Or, actually, I guess I should try and go for you. Buy a favor. Yeah, these are cheap favors. Crooked Count... I'll then the favor you all in order to force your partner's devious crimes. Hmm. Smart man. Unfortunately for him, things just got a little bit complicated. All right, so call in council support. Call in council support. And call in council support. Boom, boom, boom. Didn't, uh... Management, ruler, council consideration, vote. And they approved it! Excellent! Dude, three of them had to vote because of favors. This also means I've got pretty much fair game on anything right now for a little while. Of course, the vassals are almost... Okay, the plan begins. Uh, strangely, and I began to eat less for fear of being poisoned. The food is mine. Alright. Count Yildoff was caught in deadly arrow crossfire between the scroll of Potository and a grassy knoll. The lone bowman seems to be working perfectly. Well then, dude. Guess you should have thought about that before you laughed off the king, or the emperor. Ah, emperor, I'm powerful. It's kind of weird that, yeah, I could take on Finland. So you guys are revolting against Denmark. Such a weird spread of people out there. But again, the fact that I could, in fact, declare and take the whole damn kingdom for a Jarl is kind of hilarious. You would get one heck of a king- well, actually, you wouldn't get that much of a kingdom. If you look closely, these are very large, but not that many amounts of provinces. Now, we are still not quite done with that, so I'd like to buy a couple months of peace. Oh, we could do a second feast now. Let's do that again. I like the last one. And everyone is, uh, patronage. Spend lavishly on food. Who could I imprison? The Duchess of Mon. I thought it was a righteous imprisonment. Oh, I see. She was, a uh, fabricating cl claims. Well, I don't like you two people. Oh, wow, I don't like a lot of you? Come on, guys. How bad could it really be? I'm just the king. Oh, they're probably mad because I changed that law. Gotta remember that kind of stuff. That was well spoken. Thank you. Scotland's gone to war. They're against who? Last guests have done stuff. Alright, I think it's time to... Okay, people are usurping stuff again. Alright, how's the army looking? I could increase the retinue a little bit. Not gonna this time, but... How's the rest of the army looking? 
We are at full power. Okay, just real quick checking on factions. Okay, so we have a pretty large group that wants to increase council fa uh, power. Um, who are you guys? Knight's Hospitaller. Okay, so the main problem is the Arl of Jerusalem. Well, in that case, let's up, let's pick up our spy master and put him in Jerusalem. I should pay a little more attention to Jerusalem soon. As soon as we're done taking over Finland, I think. Ah, this whole thing's about to turn green with power. It's weird, like, I'm one of the most powerful, like, okay, let's look at this ledger, because it does have some uses, so. Independent states, okay, so. Most gold is obviously going to be me. No, what? I'm not even the top, I'm only in the top five? Who? How? Okay, strongest Christian one, but we've got Hispania? Which is... So this guy is rich. Damn. Weird, too, because he keeps losing his wars. Uh, oh, did I lose my spot on the ledger? No, I did not. Okay. Army size. This is what we were looking for. Oh. Okay, well... All things considered, I don't occupy that much land space... And my realm size is tiny, but, like, I've got way more troops than the guy next in line. Like, yeah, my power is pretty damn good, actually. So, yeah, just, you know, anyone who wants to have some fun, here are some stats you can look at. But we have a war to get to, so I want to just be 100% clear. If I declare war on you, I can claim it. Uh, breaking truce. Oh, right, I've got a truce on him. Damn it. Fine, fine. Next episode. Next episode. The Bedouin pocket. Okay, everyone. Jerusalem is now run by Vikings. Okay, family first. Uh, okay. Fix the family things. Okay, so two years and you come of age. You need a marriage. Good one. Um, who can we get with power? So there's some countesses. None are particularly great, though. So I guess we'll go with diplomacy. Yep. There's quick. There's attractive, but that's lover's pox. Not quite a graminence, but I think... I think she will do just fine. Marrying the relative of a Khan? No problems here. Okay, I guess we just kind of... Well, we lost the Grand Master of the Knights Templar. Unfortunate. Alright, Vassal Inheritance Warning. Lots of claims can be pressed. You are threatening. That's about to go away, though. Probably by the time we actually get back to a war, at least. Just gonna, I guess, wait on my son. Somebody just kicked the bucket. Court chaplain. Any powerful vassals? No, but you would be a loyalist, so... I'm more inclined to give it to you, courtier. Grats! Another loyalist. I barely ever do anything with this anyways. And eh, just research some cultural tech. Speaking of which, how are we on technology? Uh, we could do... Anything but castle infrastructure, so we'll do improved keeps. Um, popular customs, legalism, centralized. Dutch vice royalties. Full status of women. That's kind of a priority right now. Popular customs wouldn't hurt either. Let's just finish that. And then, militarily, we could get siege equipment, which is always nice. That's an extra... Almost 50, a little over 15% uh, siege effectiveness, which is very, very nice.
trying to think right now. It's just, it's just a waiting game right now. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell is Francia doing in my lands? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Scotland is attacking Francia. Losing. But Scotland attacked Francia. Oh my god, the balls of that maneuver. I'm impressed. Like, I'm just straight up impressed. Hey, you, can I, uh, can I take any of your land? I can claim a lot of it, but... Oh, looks like that rebellion finally ended. This is crazy. Oh, I guess that means I don't have a truce with Norway? Yeah, they're just defending against Francia. Yeah. I'm the only one not in that defensive pack, because I'd just go crush them. Hard to find time. Family first. Spend time with my children. When is your birthday? November 3rd. So, the heir is coming up. We need a new advisor. Well, not going to be you, Jarl of Ascalon. Yeah, I could handle a zealot. I really should keep the powerful vassals on the council, so... Your vassal is concerned about the I can't give it out to anyone who asks. Okay, um... In utter truest irony, my truce with Francie is about to run out. So I could go take another chunk out of them, although... I mean... What could I, what could I claim? I could claim... Alright, I have an actual claim on that little chunk of land. And I could claim just random parts of it. Well, it's not random, but... Argon. Wait, I could claim the whole kingdom of Argon? Or is that just a... Okay, I could claim the kingdom for the Prince of Castile. Claim Avignon. Barcelona. Berg. I could claim a lot of random parts. Casseron. I could claim Castile itself. That one would be good. Holland? Oh! I could... Is that the county of Holland? Ah. I'll get to... I'll get to it. I'm gonna hold Holland soon enough, but... Wow, I'm not even close to, like... Make Francia a tributary. <laughs> That would be the best war ever, but we're going to just have to kind of let that one be right now. Okay, so the Count of Lyon is uh, at risk of falling out. You're my nephew, though. How would you fall out of the realm? Whatever. Okay, just waiting down, the, counting down the time till my son is of age. And then, I don't know, probably give him like a county or something. Here, son, have Jerusalem. <laughs> Actually, that might not be a bad idea. I probably hold too many kingdoms right now. Do I hold too many kingdoms? Well, I only hold two, but I sure hold a lot of things. Um, the Grand Vassal, you. Why do you dislike me? Decreased council power. Yeah, I figured. Um, wants seat on the council. Wants control of certain Jarldoms. Foreigner. Okay, so I don't have a holds too much stuff thing, but... Oh, uh, my nephew needs a thing. Here. Be humble. Never challenge my power. Invest. Gains piety. Local shrine. Always good to increase the prosperity. Prince... Ah, excellent. I have a grandson. Welcome to the world. It's about to get a lot bigger. Here it is. Here it comes. Yes. Damn. Well, he got a underhanded rogue, which is good. The 
throw it can marry. Send. Harmony and content. Excellent, my heir. My son. I have a son and he has a wife. And he loves me. Because love, long reign, primogenitor. All kinds of good stuff, basically. So this is who we will play as next. Prince Cell of Valis. With his wife. Hey, they're both quick. I just realized that. Awesome! Alright, what about Denny? How are you doing, son? You're alright. Just double checking. Oh, crap. Craven. And Lustful. Could be worse. That'll be fun later. So yeah, I definitely have a rogue of a son. Uh, I could go for Realm Prosperity. Probably should go for Realm Prosperity, but I need to switch my focus. Family life has been good and all, but... I need some intrigue in my life, man. Yeah. Now, are any of my vassals locked up in not my dungeons? Alright, you are imprisoned by me. Alright, well, you're staying imprisoned by me. Okay, any of my other vassals locked up? Oh, wow, we're over time. Whoops, sorry. Well, we, uh, we got the new heir, so I'll call that good for the end of the episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The House of Alice. If you want to see more of Crusader Kings 2 and Ark Survival Evolved, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.